I'm never as good as you. Oh, great.
G'day Alex, delighted to be here, can't wait to get started into it. Uh, it should be a should be a good game. Um, again, a new season and uh out the sort of be on the table. Um, run through some of the player changes. I kinda had a bit of an inside track on some of these players by the team. I'll run, I'll run through the lineups first and we'll talk about that. So, for Money United, we have Jaslyn Ben in goals. Uh, this is uh, the clerk. Midfield, we'll have Al Gates and Al Chug, Richie, Clark, Farquhar, Bill Smith, Paul Jones, and Al So, there's very experienced names uh, in that lineup. And for Knights, the away team today, uh, we'll have a bunch of new names and some familiar names to season options. Bea, Charlotte Butler, Sarah Bologna, Simon Eel, Ella McConan, Neely Barrich, Monty Gaddon, Megan Goskin, Saskia Ashby, Circle and Malou, and Jessica Shree. So, again, nice a uh, new slide to the WCLC season. They uh, definitely got some a mix of youth and experience. I think, um, it's an exciting time for them to um, bring back some players who played with them in the past, and also a lot of players that um, come from uh, Clarence Sibley's who have uh, done this year. Um, yeah, so it should be a good game. Um, Tanner, how, how do you see this one playing out? I think it's pressure on Gnorky today because they need to get off to a good start, but also Launceston will be feeling the pressure coming off a third place position. As it comes to the ins and outs, we've got a very youthful squad when it comes to Launceston. We've got Holly Jones and Kiara Jones who are all making their WSL debut. And we also have Lana Rice who actually has played her entire career uh, through the youth ranks um, uh, through Launceston as well. And we've also got M Melissa Coggins who uh, will also be on the bench and she's uh, a new goalkeeper from Queensland. Try and uh, I'll just pa pass you back over the table and make a few adjustments. And uh, just uh, going back to uh, the Gnorky ins and outs, the main ones this year will be uh, Ella McConnell coming over from South Hobart, followed by Jess Shreve, who was also at Kimber Lions, and Maggie Goscombe. And we are underway at Birch Avenue.
right. It should be out of there, so bearing with us through that opening part. Okay, and we are on the counter here. Um, and running down the wing. Well, shepherded there. Today for United. Experienced player. Uh, also, uh, Danny Gunton is also uh, not available today as well. So, uh, Lauren Sesson will be hoping to get them back next week. As we go back to the midfield, this is Gadden. Play it through. Almost in there. And it will go back out wide. For a, an opportunity for Launceston to counter here. Launceston really need to keep an eye on Ellen McConnon today. She's already just looked dangerous on that first counter. And it's Smith again. Both Smiths on the wing. Then it'll get cleared out to... for a goal kick. And we should be sounding a little bit better here on the sidelines. Thanks for bearing with us through some technical difficulties. Nikki Javier just about to take her goal kick. Another new player for Gnorki. Yeah, no, I think um, that's something to, to touch on. I mean, to, to sort of just touch on that during the pre-game is, is this new Milwaukee side. They look like they've already developed some good chemistry playing through the middle here. Got cut out by Lawser. Um, and on United will go for now, but that's a it's going to be a challenge for them sort of as a new team, how they build into this season. Oh, 100%. And it also comes down to players like Maggie Goscombe who are also playing out of position. Uh, Ivica Bologna has got her playing in the defensive role. He said in pre-season that she's been playing very well. So time will tell how that comes in the regular season. It's, um, yeah, again, it's just one, yeah, one of those things as, as a coach. You've just got to yeah, do what you can and, and sort of... See where players are suited to as the ball comes through. It's a bit of a direct ball and it'll just get pouched there by Jaslyn Venn. She'll throw it out to the wing. It doesn't get controlled by Smith. But it will fall to Lucy Smith now. It's a lovely step over by Smith. Yeah, she's just played that ball decently through, looking for the centre center midfield and also again through the midfield. It's be Smith. The young player looking to kind of develop through through this season and really take over as a, I would say, a main player for Launceston United this season. Showed some really good flashes last year. Um, but I think, I think they'll, with Lonnie United in a bit of a transitional period, I would say, um, but they will have to um, yeah, look towards that, that younger core now as well as, as some of that experience that they've had in the previous years. The cross comes in. She's got a little bit of space to shoot Smith and she'll shoot and Havea pops it up into the air and she does deal with it. It's a little bit of a hairy moment. She's still following out. She's way off her line. It doesn't get enough purchase on the shot. Bit of a hairy moment for Knights there. Really shouldn't have came out of her box so soon. Yeah, it's a handling a little bit dicey from Havea as well, but they will deal with it and it will come away um, out the back there through Butler. You mentioned the players that uh, Launceston will be missing. Uh, we have to touch on uh, Montana Leonard, who has also suffered an ACL injury uh, early. So she will now be one of the assistant coaches at uh, Alex. Yeah, a big big out. I know they were sort of counting on her to, to play a big role this season. And Lossi gets dispossessed. Leonard coming through the middle now. It's a lovely pass there by McConnon. McConnon through, this is Gadden. Get back to uh, Neil here. Way, way at the back and caught well by the. Uh, I was going to say the camera, <laughs> cameraman, but I think it's the person in front of it. And this is always a threat for Lonnie United: the Laura Dickinson long throw. Um, have one of the better throws in the WSL. I say, generally, no other team really has has anything like it, and she just can get territory every time, pretty much. <laughs> We just take a moment to kind of regroup from this opening five minutes. I think both teams still feeling their way out. Again, it's, they have had a good summer cup, but there's nothing really like the, the start of the season. Oh, definitely not. Round one, always viable to get off to a nice start. Yeah, and I think for Lonnie United, who would have an eye on the title, at least challenging for the title or, or potentially a cup this season. I know cup finalists last year and also uh, previous winners of the WSL. Um, 
they'll at home they'll be really wanting to get off to a, a good start against the new side and if that ball comes through for Knights it doesn't quite reach Butler and we'll come out over to the far side and we'll get brought up the field just hugging that wing there just on the corridor and it goes down the line again they're just working it up it's a low ball in it does get cut out well Shreve at the back there just Shreve another good pick up coming over from Kingbra she's such a tall asset in that defensive line yeah very solid player I've, I was super impressed with her last year for, for Kingbra a team that um, I thought had a lot of potential and they've, they've undergone a lot of change as well and they'll be playing today as well as Butler will move it back into the midfield Barrich over there she'll launch it up forward will fall to McConnor it's a lovely hold-up play by Ella. Yeah, a little cut back. Barrich again. Left foot of hers and doesn't find a way through. And it'll be launched up forward for Lonnie you know. It's being chased down. It's potentially Jones over there. And Goscombe will cut that one out and get back into the midfield. It's very open at the moment. Both teams pushing forward and I think I think they'll be feeling this um, if they keep this sort of pace up for the rest of the game as Knights break now it's shot on the right it's a decent effort but it end up going a little bit wide there um, first real kind of proper sh or clear shot I, I would say from either team there they're not troubled in the end but um, you can see Lamorki already strong on that counter attack promising start here by both teams Lonnie United will just try and slow it down a little bit now. They've, they've been playing at a breakneck pace. It's Olivia Smith. Before I turn it and play it to her namesake, Lucy. Step over. To take on and did you get around it? No, it's well poked out. And uh, out for a United corner. Farquhar. She's got space to shoot and curls it. It's challenged. I think a little deflection there, I think, off a Lenorki player. I think that might have been Summer Neal who that rebounded off. Did it? Go did out it, for a corner? Did have some curl on that, didn't Yeah, it? I think um, for a second he could sort of see Haveya in the Knights' goals shape up to take that, but obviously a little bit further out and uh, well blocked off in the end. But Deflection in that sort of area, always dangerous. Oh, absolutely. You could just see Javier wasn't too sure if that was going to come into the left stick. It's a little floated ball up to the back post. It's almost run onto it by a United player. And it is cleared away by Knights in the end. Only momentarily. United back on the ball. Cross in. And yeah, well taken by Javier that time. That was Dickinson over there. I think I've been impressed with how United have being able to put the pressure on now. They're just starting to get on top of the game a little bit here. Smith's getting involved. And here she is again. Get in to Orsa. Smith again. Orsa always shuttling through that middle for a player but can't get through the wall of Lorky Knights. Well clear again but it'll just be a throw. Yeah, just out for a throw and Shreve again showing her experience. I think Strategy-wise for the Lanarkey Knights, they've, they've, they've tried to get a good spine to this this team um, this season with uh, the likes of Gaiden and Shreve. Absolutely. Ivica Bologna has definitely recruited well when it comes to his side. He's definitely fought about this debut season. So a little bit of a half chance there. Sorry to interrupt, Tanner, but right, he goes through and back out through Gaiden and Bologna will get back on it. And it's a little bit of a hairy moment there. I think um, United probably have just a similar type in... Uh, team in terms of height, I would say, but they've just got that experience factor, and I think they will just be looking to ratchet up that pressure, uh, especially on the on probably more inexperienced uh, goalkeeper in Nikki Havea. Absolutely, but you've got to remember Bronte Gate and what a pickup from Clarence Zebra is now coming over. Yeah, absolutely, and I, th I think that's what I was saying before is just that, that spine again. You kind of I think they've, they've been able to meld in some of that younger talent, some of the players from the championship as Smith. Goes on a run and taken away by Shreve there. So we've just been talking about that. And then 
Gaden will move it into Bologna, and they've got that experience through the middle, and you can sort of see how they're trying to play through that now. It does get turned over, and it'll get flopped up into the air, looking for uh, uh, Richie there. Very few, uh, few little name changes this season as well. Uh, as uh, Havaya launches it for and get taken by Dickinson. Not too sure if you noticed, but former uh, MPL player Jack Bauman was just spotted in the crowd there next to the Gnorky fans. Up in, up in Lonnie at the moment. I, I did hear that he was potentially doing some work with one of the teams, or is that, is that just a rumour that I saw? I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> i have to get back to you on that yeah, one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the Dickinson long throw, and there it is. God, it's an asset, isn't it? It comes into the box, and it gets popped up in the air. It's missing the area. It's nodded forward. Taken down. Lucy Smith in the area. And oh, that's also a Olivia Smith has a cracking shot. Gets blocked. It's clobbered in the box there, though. Hasn't quite cleared the danger. And lobbed up in the air by Richie, and ultimately no avail there. It's a little bit... A little bit congested in the Glenorchy box at the moment. They're doing enough just to uh, keep it out of their net for now, but um, both Smiths looking to dribble their way in. Quite get the space for a shot though, Tanner. Just the one-two play though there by Glenorchy. They had Shreve, they had McConnor, but they just couldn't get that final pass. Comes in, Havea comes for it. it. Does come away. Yeah, just can't get that final pass, but it gets turned over by Lorsa. It's well blocked again. They're just putting their bodies on the line here the Knights. They're just trying to grit out this first 15 minutes. This is a very physical 15 minutes. So again going towards Smith and away by Shreve will get de deflected off a United player and out for a Knights throw. Just a brief reprieve here for Glenorchy. The pressure is on them at the moment. Playing the 4-1-3-2. Another experimental formation. Yeah, I think they're just trying to stay solid in there with that defensive midfielder but I think it is all hands on deck at the moment as is Smith cut onto the left foot she gets space to shoot this time and it flashes wide never really on target I don't think that was her preferred foot but a good run and first probably uh, clear shot that United would have today Bayer will just get it underway back to Shreve she'll bring it bring it out one thing I have noticed tactically when it comes to Nikki Havi is that she's had uh, other players in the box take her long goal kick for her. Perhaps a new strategy coming into 2024. Yeah, I think with Shreve in, in there, I think she was taking quite a few kicks for the Lions at times last year. She's, she can play well, an asset of, of playing long balls just generally out of centre back, so um, definitely want to use her in space when they can get her. Oh, absolutely, any stoppage you can take advantage on that. Smith again, who's just been an absolute ball magnet this, uh, this first 15 minutes. McConnor looking dangerous. Yeah, she's having to do a lot more defensive work than I think she'd like, but she's definitely putting the effort in. Here's Bologna. She, can she get there? She does. This possesses Farquhar. And then a bit of a mucky sort of ball here for Knights, and McConnor does come away with it. And here's Gaiden. Lovely foot there. Wabronti. Yeah, she just does the simple things well. That's another example there. Goes through and shield it off and away. Dickinson, who's giving that one away. And he'll come back up the line. A 50 50. And the ball does come in looking for Richie. But it does come away. It just missed straight over her head there. Yeah. There's Jones, who's chugging down the line there. And it was a floated ball, but. Just uh, able to evade all of the uh, Launceston United attackers. So switch it out towards Farquhar here. McConnor putting a lot of pressure on again. And we'll get there, but use of the body by Farquhar. That's one thing I do love about Ella McConnor's play. It's the work rate. Every 90 minutes, she will give all that she has until she cannot go no more. Yeah, definitely one to watch this year. Definitely putting it in. S Smith again. She'll be looking up the line for... Olivia Smith. And it does get shielded out. I'm not sure if that's the corner. United are going to set up for one here. Uh, 
by running down the line. Already a little sign of cramp there for Olivia Smith. Like a, like a nice sunny day up here at Birch Avenue. And uh, again, just adapting to the conditions. She recovered very quickly from that, didn't she? Yeah. Just got to stretch that one out. Flick on. It's chug. And retrieve away. Curling effort, and Vea will pick that one up. Abby Chug already looking dangerous. WSL taboo today, coming over from Northern Rangers. Joining Moana Ritchie as well, coming from the Northern Championship side. A bit of a new look midfield. Um, obviously, the experience of Matty Rosa, who's uh, just been trying to dispossess Gaddon there. But um, yeah, with Ritchie and um, and Chug as well, sort of um, taking over a little bit from um, what they've had in the past. As Knights will slow it down a little bit. This will be Shreve. Turn away from Richie. Just holds up the ball there, looking around for the option. Yeah, really smart play, and the pressure comes now. And they'll just try and quickly move it through the middle. It's Gadden. She's switched more into a defensive midfield role, hasn't she? Yeah, I think, I think she'll be needed uh, in that position at the moment for Knights. I think I think it is a bit of a all hands on deck. I think Mulu is nominally holding there, but um, Gadden will just have to come and get the ball when, when possible. With Bologna supporting on the right. Yeah, absolutely. It's that sort of it's a diamond they've got going. And that comes down the wing. One on one situation. It goes towards the byline. And Had the right idea. Just yeah. didn't quite get what she was onto yeah. there. Yeah, just quite red. Exactly how they would have liked on the wide side there. Smith just gets her feet tangled a little bit. It's been an interesting first 20 minutes. I, don't, I think Lonnie United definitely on top, but no real you know, threatening chances as yet. Yes, it's still been very cagey early at the moment. Just I think, again, that two teams just trying to find their rhythm into the season so far. Just, I think that first five or ten minutes was a, a bit of a hammer and tong situation, and now teams sort of just trying to get in a bit more of a... a possession-based rhythm if they, keep, if they can get on the ball here. Tidy footwork there by Farquhar on the corner. I don't know if you saw that. Wiley, my customer. It will come in from Neil. Watch up the line. Well defended again. Yeah. Just a, again, without Katie Hill, I was thinking, oh, okay, maybe there is a bit of a door open for with Lenorki to pressure that central defence, but it looks like uh, he's a de Klerk step back in there. And uh, with uh, Nicola Clark as well, it's a uh, very experienced uh, central defensive pairings. And to go along with Farquhar and Dickinson, they, they are hard to break down for any side. Yeah, Izzy de Klerk was another great recruitment coming over from South Hobart, now into her second year, I believe. Yeah, yeah, she was pretty good last year. So there's a bit of pressure coming here and looking for a free kick, and it does come. A shove in the back felt there on Goss on Ashby, sorry. We'll come back out to Ashby. Just cut out again there by United. Again, so solid at the back, but might be an opportunity for Barrage to get on the ball. Just play it back. Nearly Barrage, another player to watch out for Gnorki this year. Yeah, fan uh, she had some fantastic games for Zebras last year. Um, I saw a game, she's scored two and assisted three, something <laughs> like that. Just yeah, you got real, real talent. you got to watch out for that left foot on hers. Mm. Really good up and coming player to watch. For. Knights will sort of see them um, as they blend together and, and I think hit their straps towards the end of the season. Loses track of where she's on the field, and uh, yeah, as, uh, and not to write them off from this contest, they're well in it today, and they should be for most of the games. But I think again, just um, having that blend of, 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 of talented young players, I think it will give the supporters something to really hold on to throughout the season as well. Oh, 100%. They're looking sharp already. Comes down the line, and Smith again. Lucy Smith. Doing a lot there on the left wing for United. Come away through Gadden. Go down a little bit 
back line for the Norky. Hey, uh, just ground grabbing that one there. It has worked yeah. already. Yeah, it works. Well, straight back to Fender. I'll try and play through the middle again. Look, Vades Butler. A little bit isolated up top for the night so far. Pressure there by Gaiden, but she was able to work her way through already. Horses ball is cut out and a quick counter for Conan again. Turn away well. Sarah Bologna will turn on it. And it's a nice ball back into McConnan and the reverse pass just didn't have the run that she wanted, but nice little interplay between Bologna and McConnan there. Yes, that was good link up play there by Bologna and McConnan. Back through the right hand side. And Ashby dealing with it well. Dickinson who will launch forward. It's missed. Is that a handball? Oh. <laughs> Maybe a, a half shout. No one's feeling for it on fear, but just a ricochet as Farquhar will shape to shoot and floats it up. And wide. And she did have the time and space to shape there. Definitely worth an effort from near Farquhar. And again, it's a quick movement out off the goal kick for Knights as Saskia Ashby will look it up and they're starting to work that white right wing now a bit more, aren't they? Yeah, I think um, you can just sense it. Those those elements coming together, and I think for a uh, bit to Bologna, Bologna, I think that will be already encouraging to see that then some of the little interplay um, motions that they've been working through are coming together as it falls to the feet. Oh, that's well worked. Also, is pushed up and way in the end by. Just a bit of an aimless ball there for Vea to um, get us restarted momentarily. So I think both teams just getting a little bit of a, a breather and again trying to find that rhythm. One of the big ins today for Gnorki as well with Emma Christie uh, being out, Charlotte Butler coming into the fray. Yeah, so she's been uh, playing in that striker position. A little, as I said before, maybe a little bit isolated. I know McConnon Gaddon have been. So here is McConnon through off. Bronte Gaddon's ball, it's offside. That was a golden opportunity there for Knights. A good little poke through from Bronte Gaddon. Excellent vision and Conan making a good run, but uh, yeah, ultimately nothing to, be, to um, be had there for Knights. Fantastic through there by Bronte. Just shows how quickly she can get on the ball and change the game. Tried to feed through McConnan, but just the offside flag was just there waiting for her. Yeah, yeah it's one of those things. It's Gaddon again, just weaving her way out of traffic beautifully. The footwork is incredible, Alex. Will just evade McConnor and be the clerk. We'll just set that tempo for United and Dickinson's ball up the line evades Richie. And tick over just past halfway in the first half. Again, there hasn't been too many clear cut chances. A few quite a kind of half sniffs for both teams. They come out. Bologna, she's just hustling away in. Had the right idea for the through ball. Yeah, can't get through that Clark wall though. Gaddon gets a shove and that should be a free kick and it is. Did land did. a little bit heavy there. Yeah, she did land pretty hard. See maybe on her arm there, like almost the motion where you can almost do your collarbone in those sorts of situations and I hope for her sake that she's okay. Looks like she's moving all right, but speculate too much on play health already after you know, such a terrible incident last night in the in the men's game as well which we should probably just touch on um, just down the road um, over at Riverside um, with the game postponed there for an injury hopefully Bronte is okay here Reverie has called out for the assistance from the medical team so she's getting back on her feet so that's good signs a bit shaken up for now Maybe, maybe one of those winded situations as, as well as any bumps you get. I really despise getting winded on a football field. It doesn't happen too often, but when you, it does happen to you, you just kind of can't get up. It's one of those things. Just could be going off to receive treatment here. She is starting to run, so that's promising news. 
the Norkies definitely couldn't afford to have her taken out of the game. But they can bring on Inez Gaiden as well, another player who's tidy with the footwork. Yeah, well, assuming a uh, relation there, <laughs> be an interesting life for life replacement. I am also assuming. <laughs> Just regrouping here. It's like Barrage is just trying to get the forward group a bit more organised here. It's probably come at a good time. Well, not that injury is ever a good time, but in terms of a break in the game, just for both teams to just get a little bit of composure as we do see a substitution there with Adelaide Otto coming on. I did think I saw her just ghosting in the back of uh, of the frame for a minute there. So that's a very early change for Lonnie United. I don't know if that's also injury related. Maybe that was to do with the, the cramp felt before. Yeah, Holly Jones now coming on for a WSL debut. Very early substitute, I do yes. agree. Yep. Yeah, I think Otto um, being such a experienced player, maybe they're just looking for a bit more dynamicism up front as a high ball for them. That's not going to trouble her. And here is Farquhar. And here we get... Oh, Connor didn't get what she wanted on that. Yeah, this. I was just going to say, Barrish did well to... She's using her body well there again, but quiet as Olivia Smith will try and hurry her way up the line. Come back inside, we will just take it over and I think United will look for a switch here. Barrick was able to bully her off the ball there, wasn't she? Yeah, maybe that's something that they could potentially look at as well as maybe using Barrick and potentially in midfield. More of a midfield role. Looks like she might have even dropped in just for the time being while um, getting, in, been getting treatment. But get, here she is now. She's back in the field <laughs> and uh, trying to bustle her way through. Was, there wasn't too much wrong with that, but a little bit too much body. Good, good to see she's already recovered. Yeah. Quickly. <laughs> yeah. Straight back into the action. You can't keep her out for too long. As uh, Maddie Lossa will take the free kick. Ends it into the box. Nice and high, just goes over the top of Bologna's head. Get back out to Gaddon, gets a foot in and oh, get around. That's fantastic by Bronte. A nice little poke around the corner. Ooh, and she'll get her pass blocked and Farquhar goes for an overlapping run. Smith just holding it up, looking for Farquhar again. She cut in and just takes it straight away. It'll get blocked again by Summon in. Glenorchy holding strong for now. They're definitely probably trying to get on the counter a little bit more than United. They've got a bit more controlled possession of the game. But again, nothing too troubling for Nikki Hevea so far. I know she did spill one before, but I would say that's probably been the main chance for United so far. Summon Hill clearing that ball out before. Another player to keep an eye on this year. Bologna has uh, rated her highly in pre-season. Yeah, definitely impressed so far of what I, I've seen just in this half an hour of, of the game. Just um, good positional play from whole of the Knights defence. McConnon just takes it short there. Shreve again. Again, such a good player to have controlling your defence. Always making good decisions and hard in the tackle as well. Turned over quickly there by Knights. United now on the front foot. Turned around by Smith. She's got half a chance and... Jumping on the spot there to gather the ball. Lucy Smith has been United's most threatening outlet, but it's just that final product, and Knights have been dealing well with her threat um, when they've had to. It's Barrich, physical in the middle there, back on the ball. Poke poke there by Gaiden. Go back through. Butler trying to hustle her way through. She'll get shielded off the ball by Dickinson. We've got the line to Adelaide Otto, who has just come up the early side. Go back into the middle. She'll try and chase it down. And come back into Farquhar. She'll swing it in back post. Get hold of that properly. Sliced away a little bit. Chug tries to play through the middle. Now Knights have a counter-attack opportunity through Barry. She'll play it up for Butler. She track it down. Shoot it off and maybe get a bit of a moment of indecision there, but be dealt with. Game's starting to open up here now. Definitely. So, so saw that sort of open five, ten minutes and then settled down and now 
again and spread out. Bologna. This little angle passes in, but kind of shielded off by two United players. Smith again. Played into it from Lucia. I don't think she's got too much in the middle so far. She will look for it at Ladotto, but she's lurking at the back post rather than the front post. And one, two, not found. And we'll go forward again. Conan in the area. And away by Olivia Smith. And Dickinson up the line. Looking for Richie, who played out to Otto. It's a decent little pass. Shout for offside from Knights, and the ball comes across the box. Smith in front of a defender. Good goal side defending there. Knights defence. Did well to work away out of that. Good pressure from McConnor, but Lossa calm under pressure. Aqua swings it in. Find Richie. Chug will shape to shoot, but no power on that one. Come back out through Bologna. So had to do a lot of work trying to progress the ball out from defence and into this sort of area. Now McConnor on her bike. Off oh, the line. Through the legs. Through the legs. And away by Clark again. It's just Again, I think teams tend to be the best set up at this level of the ones that have defences and United are certainly well a prime example of that along with you know South Hobart's record last season has was, uh, was pretty incredible with the amount of goals they conceded. There wasn't too many at all last season. Oh absolutely South Hobart. The credit on their development over the last three years has just been insurmountable. Alistair Russell coming over, changing changing things up, Craig Westwood as well. We were talking last week in the Summer Cup final just about kind of how the power dynamic has shifted from north to south in the last probably, or just really in the last year with South Hobart building so well. Um, and they've, they've strengthened even more this season. So I think the mine, they're definitely the favourites. But I think the likes of United will be trying to challenge them throughout the season. We'll cut out again by the clerk. Play it forward. Fruit ball was just off our camera there. <laughs> Couldn't yeah. quite see that one. Just missed a uh, run of Farquhar. Yeah, you mentioned South Hobart. South Hobart last week winning the Summer Cup 2-0 over Devonport. Another interesting inclusion this year with um, Tom Ballantyne being the coach for Devonport this year. Pulling double duty, Alex. Yeah, I do wonder whether that's a permanent thing or um, whether that's just temporary. But I think they've, they've been trying to look towards him to implement a new style. I know. Georgia King in a lot of her interviews in the pre-season have been talking about that and they're, they're trying to play a little bit more possession-based football as Otto winds up the wing and gets blocked again and just booted out of play. A better person to be at the helm than Ballantyne. Yeah, I think that's definitely um, yeah, as, as having you know the NPL title experience and, and, a, and a strikers team that... Um, has been developing as well. It's a huge long throw by Dickinson again. No one on the end of it. He's got that height on them. Comes in away by Malou. Butler who get around the corner. McConnell's on her own and almost gets fouled by the clerk. But doesn't go down. So now she's got a few teammates in support. She'll try and take on Dickinson. Wiley customer. Hard to beat one-on-one. -on -one. There's Barrage now. Cutting away through the middle. Cuts it back. Butler just not quite in the area. It's well marshaled again by the United defence. McConnell has now switched to the right wing. Yeah, just a little bit of a change up for Knights, definitely. Um, Otto comes forward and again cut out by Lulu. And also, if you look for the switch, it's positional control for United here. Aqua with heaps of time to have a cross. He's directing traffic and Richie run onto it, does get the head on. Looping wide of the United attacking goal so far. Just our final touch on uh, South Hobart. We just want to send out our best to Lucy Roberts um, after suffering that uh, horrible ACL on the weekend. It's going to be a big out, isn't it, Alex? Yeah, it hasn't been a good start to the year for serious injuries for across Tasmanian football, really. So hopefully that will be a trend that changes, but. Uh, yeah, definitely for South Hobart and, and for Keen Watchers of the League, that is, is a massive out for the Yeah. Should be a good game down at Lightwood Park today. Keen yes. Early South. Keen and, and South, obviously, um, just a juggernaut at the moment. Also, 
So she has provided a little bit more through that right right hand side since she's come on, I would say. But um, just getting well marshaled again by Knight's defence. In there, in gritty hanging in there. Shreve and one of the members of that defence coming up. We will try and move it forward, but it will get cut out by Chug. She'll move it forward and she'll shoot and gets underneath that one. Decent power on that, but um, always rising over the top. And just trying to break through that one of United kind of deep midfield area. It's been very difficult for Knights. They're trying their hardest, but to no avail. They've really had many opportunities to, to get out and run at the United defence. Another player far quite down behind play. So, again, a bit of a tough start for um, United in terms of injuries here. Looks like Smith is calling for a sub, so that's... So the second substitution for Lonsess United early. Yep, they're just changing up completely um, that left-hand side. We wasn't too sure if the auto run was tactical, but this now looks like an injury yeah. for Thakwa. Yeah, I'm just thinking with, with uh, Jones, I think, coming off there. Um, that was a, just a... Maybe that, that calf that we saw in that uh, <laughs> corner, and it looks like Thakwa going for the sub. So depth will be tested here. We do have Ava Farquhar to also come on potentially um, as, a, as a player who has a fair bit of resale experience. She's shaken up there. She's okay. And we'll get the game back on the way. Dressed up forward by Knights United just look to change things up and again having to deal with stuff on the fly always a challenge as a coach. Also we'll move it away. Much with a good press. Jones coming on. Holly Jones, another WSL debut coming on, joining Kiara in the ranks. What's number 22 comes in. That might be a... I'm just wondering whether that's a slight error there on the uh, team sheets there. But looks like number 22 has come on. Try and endeavour to track, track down uh, where the... There's just been a mix-up on numbers here. There was definitely a mix-up on my end. I'm just yeah. checking my lineup now. Holly Jones was uh, actually starting. Apologies to our viewers there. It's OK. I think... Um, Numbers on the uh, the team sheets. Are That's okay. We're ironing out some kinks here on all Tasmania TV for the first, first uh, well, hopefully the first full broadcast of the, of the season. The graphics are looking very snazzy. To see if we can get some more information about that at half time. Some chug wheel launched for United. Let me find Bologna and turn the corner. Get him now with a bit of time to run. Oh, does get through to McConnor. Just touch a little bit heavy, but able to recover. Took advantage of that mistake there, Ella. Ella looking long, uh, didn't get a hold of what she was after there, but could still be dangerous. That's well saved there by United keeper. Yeah, then out so quickly and solidly. She's uh, a bit of a stalwart in goals for them for the last year or so. Again, adding to that solidity of the back line. But again, good energy from Knights. And Conan definitely causing some, some issues with her, her pace and energy. As Otto will swing it in. That's the top of the box. Chug gets a foot on it. Rebounds is out to Richie and again over the bar. United getting some shots on goal now, but yeah, not, not on target so far. Certainly looking dangerous coming forward, but... Most of them have just been skied early, but it's only early days, Alex. Yeah, again, it's that first, first game of the season, first half of, of the season. And I think um, at half-time, which the coaches will be looking forward to now, uh, Nick Rawlinson will be looking at the, uh, just the quality of the final ball and, the, um, and also the shooting for United. So brought out of defence and uh, come back over to Neil. She'll move it up to Bologna. Bologna could be in a bit of danger here, but she works her way through well. McConnon dealing with that midfield pressure pretty well. McConnon will go down the, the line again. On her bike, as you say, Alex. Oh, it's not 
Chuck a little, a little chip ball in looking for Butler and come away again through the as yet unnamed sub. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it, Alex. <laughs> the forward again. by well, Neil. Chucked off the ball there. Yeah, she'll give a hip and shoulder to Olivia Smith. Checks that one off herself and looking to receive the ball here and does get it back. Right idea, but no one there, Alex. Back forward for Smith. And again, that's just that final ball. It's still a little bit uh, aimless at times from United. They've, they've had enough time to sort of pick people out, but that is partly to do with the Knights' defence as well. Clark will leave it for Ben. You've got to wonder if Launceston have set the offside trap for McConnell and Gaiden, because Gaiden is always threading that through ball through to Ella, but it's either just a missed time or it's a missed run early. Got a lot of a lot of experience back there, and I think they're just trying to make sure that they can control the game by, by pushing up here. Identify. Go out towards Otto. It's well held up there by Otto. It's been overplayed a little bit there by Ashby, but um, no threat in the end. We'll go out for a. Well, it's being set up for a corner there, so just the angle of the flag. Threat of Dickinson here for throw. It's a long throw once again. Yeah, they just don't put anyone on the front for it though. I'm just like, flick it on. Um, it's, again, it's just such a threat, but uh, I just wonder whether they could build around it a little bit more. I'm, I'm, I'm here on the sideline being like, um, I know they're, they're probably even looking for an even deeper throw there, but it's caused a little bit more chaos than what has caused so far. As Butler will sprint up the line and it's well marshalled again by Laura Dickinson. She's just very, very hard to beat in a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's interesting, most of the play for both attacks has been on the right wing there, Alex. I think Lucy Smith was getting a fair bit of it in that first 10 minutes, but she sort of drifted out of the game a little bit more, maybe trying to drift in centrally as she's Yeah, Otto will play it towards Lucy Smith. Oh, hey there. Oh, it's spilled, but <laughs> she's... Uh, has she, has she recovered that on the line? Yeah, yeah, all good. <laughs> <laughs> she actually gave a smile just re yeah, saying, I, I have discovered. Yeah, bundled right into the, over the line. <laughs> Again, Smith almost uh, getting on the score sheet there for United. But they, uh, it's been a little bit dicey so far, but uh, effective, I would say. <laughs> we'll come into Lucy Smith. Lovely vision, finds Otto. Nice little spread ball, but does keep it in. She just walks down the line. Actually trying to battle in there. She get that in ball well. coming for Chug. Smith not there either, and Malou will clear it. Dangerous signs here for Launceston United. Be a reverse pass back out to Lucy Smith. She swing it in. She in the area. Otto. Tries to weave her way through. Oh, that's a shot. lovely save. Yeah, good shot at the near post there by Adelaide Otto and a good save by Nikki Hevea. Again, showing that it's uh, simple but effective there. That was, a, that was a really smart save to just ward off the near, near post shot by, by Otto. And I think, yeah, since Otto has come on, been a handful out on that right-hand side, as you say. Well, definitely, it's been a very good tactical move early, bringing on Otto. It's definitely helped bring through the attacking third third. Yeah. United now taking the corner. Yeah, so it's getting set up here. In swinger, Morsa. And sliced away, almost into the back of her own net there for Ashby. But again, now for another corner. And I think... Knights definitely, if this does stay nil nil, they will be happy to go in at, at nil all. I think they've, they've definitely been under under the pump, but also dealt with the pressure pretty well. Oh, absolutely. This is only their first 45 in the WSL. I think they've been very well so far. It floats in, and Havea comes for it again. And it's palmed out, and should be watched for another corner. If this delivery here from also is just a little bit deeper, I think that that's what the. Uh, Forwards will be onto it for. They've got a bit of tall timber United with the likes of, of Richie. I believe it's our third corner in a row here for Lancessen. Goes short this time. Yeah, just looking to change it up. It's for the reverse part back to Lawson. She'll get and go low. It'll be 
Smith trying to turn onto her left foot. This is again, and it's eight away well. Momentarily. Oh, that could be a shout for handball in the box. No, referee plays pay on. Yeah, it's just half a shout there. Nothing doing. There was one player that put up the hand, so yeah. maybe they heard me, Alex. <laughs> I think any time that there's a uh, deflection in a box like that, I think nowadays everyone's at least oh, handball, even if they haven't seen it. Another long throw from Dickinson. Also has come for this this time, but the Chuck's sort of getting in her, her way. And just a little bit more clarity on, on those long throws, and I think United would be in business here. Clerk will just get it quickly restarted. she find her centre-back partner, Clark. Lofted ball there. Yeah. Very, very close too, but somehow it worked. Just a little bit of a bobble. The Birch have any pitch. Put on by Ashby. She'll move it forward again to McConnell. Tries from Bologna. Someone Neil, sorry, my apologies. And Ashby. She'll get hurried off it by Otto. Otto saves the shoot. Again, the floated ball with not that much power behind it for United, but another shot for them. Still pushing towards the, the half-time whistle. There it is. The half-time for the first half of round one in this WSL clash between Bologna United and Bologna. It's still nil all here. Been a pretty entertaining game so far. Have you seen it thus far, Tanner? I feel the Gnorki have worked their way well into the uh, the first uh, 20 minutes, but then Launceston just started to get on the front foot and got quite um, quite ahead as they were looking forward. But uh, that last save there by Havea, that was very game-changing. That could have been very bad news there for... Yeah, you see the, uh, the shot differential there, and yeah, United definitely had a lot more forward play, but I think Knights will be fairly comfortable with how they defended that. I think there was some... Really good signs there for them as well. A few little half chances off the break. So looking forward to what the second half has in store for us. And we'll rejoin you in just a few minutes. With Macca's new surprise prize, you've got a one in four chance of winning. With millions of dollars worth of prizes. Plus weekly draws for your chance to win $10,000 cash. Peel your fries for a chance to find a prize. Our McCafe blend isn't just barista crafted across Australia. Our beans are also sourced from Kenya, Honduras, Ethiopia and Brazil, then roasted in Melbourne. Just another reason...
Welcome back to Birch Avenue here for the WSL Round 1 clash between Launceston United and Northern Knights. We're just getting back underway in the second half as the teams come back out and bright sunshine in Launceston today. Um, should be still nil nil here and uh, should be a very exciting second half. There's been you know, really good defensive display for both teams I would say but uh, Lonnie United definitely pushing for that opening goal. Welcome back with me, Tanner Coe. Thank you, Alex. Looking forward to the second half here. Yeah, if we just uh, do some shoelaces up and we'll get ourselves ready for the second half. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a cagey opening period, I would say. And I think, um, I think both teams will be, again, happy with how they defended. And I think United will probably be feeling a little bit more like they've rued um, some of their, their missed chances, and that they've, they've definitely been on top for most of the game as they, they try again here. And just having some technical difficulties here. As we will move it back up wide, and it will challenge Laura Dickinson. McConnell will look for the middle, but no one's in there, but we will have to change it, chase it down. Trying to work their way down the defensive now. Ran into a brick wall there. Yeah, Barrett, she's, she's so hard in the tackle. I really think that as a pressing weapon, she can be. Who's a very, yeah, very impressive player in that aspect. Barrett came out of nowhere, but she's still like, stood <laughs> firm. Yeah, fantastic defensive work by the striker. <laughs> as we get it back through here, here is Millie Barrett. No commentators curse there. Definitely <laughs> on the ball. Shreve will progress it now. And up she'll move it back forward. And Butler now trying to work her way through. And it will she get chipped in by Barrage. Does it fall to McConnell's feet? It does, and she'll shoot, but only into the waiting arms of Jaslyn Venn. Good opening period for Knights there. Just a bit more pressure on the ball, and, and they're just working hard with that front four to get those counter-pressing opportunities. Avea heaves it long. United now on the front foot. Trying to find the option, look for the one two. Slides in the cross. Oh, just missed the header there, but it could still be dangerous, Alex. Smith with a cracking shot, but it's gone wide. And that's probably the best opportunity of the day. Adelaide Otto's with some good work for Lonnie United. And yeah, they just can't find the target at the moment. We've had two shots in two minutes. This second half could be tasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've opened it up, and oh, that's not the best goal kick. And R Richie will slice it over, and will be dealt with. Havea again, not challenging her too much there, but a um, little bit of a mistake playing out of the back there for Glenorchy. Barrage can't control it, and she'll bundle over the midfielder there in Chug. Free kick here now for Manchester United. Yeah, it's uh, been, a, been a physical start to this this half, and um, and Dickinson will get back over, and she'll s look for Richie. Goes home. Richie again, and it's away by Shreve. Again, Knights are just... Um, Holding firm here. They're just doing enough at the moment. Looks like we could see the long throw in again. Is that Dickinson again with the ball? Yeah, it will be Dickinson here with a threatening throw. Heaves it long into the box. For the options, but it's cleared away well by Gnocchi. Opening momentarily. Otto 
really being dangerous at the moment. It's almost found Richie. Freddy the ball through well there. Go away and then we'll be shaping the shoot from Chug, but she will just move it wide and Otto's cross is very high with a challenging ball and Gaden will get it away in the end. Dangerous signs here for Lancaster United. Now looking forward. Pushing up through the back wing. It's well defended there by Gnorki. Passed through again by Smith and come away. And Lawson now to just keep the tempo up for United here. They've started with some good energy. Lucy Smith with the ball in. Looking for Chug. Otto will find it and she'll just cut it back to the back post. Could be dangerous here. Richie in the box. And it's away again by Glenorchy Knights. They're just <laughs> hanging in there at the moment, Tanner. <laughs> it's looking very good already in the second half. Chances are definitely going to come, but now both teams are really starting to step it up, on Cessna in particular. Another long through ball there. Sorry, uh, throw wing, sorry. Well, we will get it away. It's all hands on deck here for Knights. It's going to be Lucy Smith. The world is half Lucy. Yeah, she's been on the ball well. It's just this last little element. She's been well harried off the ball by Bologna. And again, just that support for United. They haven't been able to work those one-twos at the top of the box. We'll come back to De Klerk. Is it De Klerk looking up for the option? Goes down the wing. Tidy through ball there. Down to the wing again looking for Otto. Otto is... She's done a back heel in the in the corner while well, I've seen it all now and yeah. the attacking. Just trying to keep it in, I think, and they've done pretty well to she earn a free, a free kick here. I was trying to think about which way that was going on. I almost thought that Otto had fouled, and uh, she has fouled uh, Barrage there. Does came quick to get it back underway. Retrieve now. She will just spread it out wide. And it will be Neil to Malou. The worst idea up looking for McConnon, but runs out of room. McConnon now playing on the right, was initially on the left, so Vicar Bologna now just starting to switch it up a little bit. I think it has a good bit of flexibility between McConnon and Barrage. For Butler just evades her. And then we'll spread it back looking for Laura Dickinson for the option so slowing down the ball momentarily all played through but Dickinson can't get a return ball we Saskia Ashby to throw just goes short Shreve this could be dangerous here for Gnorki getting running through onto it and Gaten. just just harried off it again and the clerk's in there she's battling well but again will Stay on the ball. Bologna was a shot and no power behind it. But Knights, again, when they do get this the counter-attacking opportunities, they do they do put a bit of pressure on United. Oh, absolutely. Gaden's working through that midfield. She's just looking for that final touch in the attacking third. But just can't quite get a hold of it at the moment. But early good signs. It's Otto. She'll try and go around Ashby. A handful for her. Since she's been since she's come on, she'll cross it in low. It's stepped oh. up and it's put in by Moana Ritchie, the first goal of the WSL season. It's a very good piece of work from Adelaide Otto to set that one up, and just a little sly mistake from Glenorchy Knights, and just poked home with a really good piece of positioning from Ritchie. And how good was that from Otto? Just working down the flanks once again, has a look around, whips in the cross. Nothing that Havaya could do at the bottom right corner. Chamberlain gets on the board. Yeah, um, we're, we're referring to her as Moana Ritchie because uh, we believe we've given some information about a name change as they've been married. Oh, so yes, my apologies. Dribble and uh, the team sheets will be slightly off there. Um, but yeah, Moana Chamberlain or Ritchie has put that one away. Is Glenorchy try and get straight back on the on the front foot? And yeah, just uh, spicing this game up now with the goal. And it's like Barrick with a decent oh! shot and she's found the back corner. What a goal by Millie Barrick. 
That's a fantastic strike on Gnorki, hit right back, make it 1-1. The game was a defensive slugfest for the majority of this, and the last two minutes, just two goals. Barrich, you probably won't see much better than that. That is an absolute stunner by Millie Barrich. Just picked out the bottom left, got on her boot, away she goes. 1-1 here already at Birch Avenue. Yeah, it's avoided Jaslyn Venn's outstretched arms, and first goal for the Gnorki Knights in the WSL, that's a um, that's one for all you trivia buffs out there. And, uh, yeah, Glenorchy will be very happy to hit straight back. Really good intensity straight off the kick. And Court United napping a little bit there, but you won't see too many finishes better than that one. And it was such a quick response, Alex. Just immediately. Didn't even take 40 seconds. <laughs> I was still kind of recovering. As they're on the ball here again. They're a little bit isolated, United at the back. And the clerk will... Push it out towards Dickinson. No pressure early. Yeah, I think Knights have their tails up a little bit here. And that's good pressure again with Sarah Bologna forcing Loser into a mistake. Always important just to get back onto the scoreboard quickly. Just 1-1, one, one, just like that. Yeah, I think um, as a coach, often you think, oh, geez, how am I going to regroup here and how am I going to get the energy back up? And it's just really good to see um, that from the players to how quickly they responded and, and got back in the game and United now I think are under a bit of pressure just to stabilise and see if they can't get back to, to to the dominance they had in that first half Otto now for Smith heaves the ball into the box but it's taken calmly there by the line keeper yeah, Jaslyn Venn will just get us back underway a bit of a just trying to slow things down here on United. Smith will just poke through into midfield. Could do a miss kick but does find Dickinson. She'll progress it forward now. That will go wide to Adelaide Otto who set up that first goal. This is a similar situation. It's another low cross. It's well cleared which again. Which he was yeah. in the area. Messi Goscombe only momentarily, but there's a header into the box, but it's cleared away. Cleared away. Another little bit of a hairy moment there for Gnorki Knights defence. Otto's just found that trajectory of her cross now. Those low low balls are really threatening that front post. And it was almost a near identical cross as well. Just working her way down the flank, had a pause, whips it in, but Gnorki were able just to clear that one away. Corner ball here now for Launceston. The hands go up for the instructions. In it comes. Lead away. Just get rebounded back to one of a half clearance, and Shreve will heave it out of play in the end, making sure of the job. Now, uh, it's, yeah, United is putting the pressure on now. It's been a pretty, well, really energetic start to the first half of both teams as the first set of changes for Glenorchy Knights are made as Charlotte Butler comes off. So that'll be a little bit of a change up front and also Malou. She'll be coming off as well. So looking for Inez Gaiden coming on and Jem Jemima Brown as well. The two changes. United now looking forward again. It's a low cross into the box but it's cleared away by Gnorki. Momentarily, once again, that just seems to be the word of the day. Yeah, they've just been able to set up a camp in this sort of area, just outside the Glenorchy box. But again, once it's challenging that box, I think Glenorchy, they step into action and they just, they have all hands on deck. They've been making it really hard to get clean shots away. Even the goal was a little bit of a, um, a tough kind of opportunity, and really more of a mistake than anything. Is that ball was half a shot of a handball, but it goes out of play for. United throw. Gnorki do need to find a plan though to take Otto out of the game because she's looking dangerous, Alex. Yeah, Ashby has her hands full out there at the moment. Yeah, I wonder whether they, what they do there, whether they just hang tough. I think um, uh, Goscombe's been, been trying to come over as much as she can, but again, with the quality of delivery, is Knights through Barrich again, the goal scorer. She'll just slip one through. It's just a half a chance for the sub, Jemima Brown. K 
game has opened up very yeah. early. That's the thing. I think Knights have definitely been under the pump, but they've, they've got a solid game plan on the break. And that was another example of that. Dickinson will bring it forward. And get lumped up the line. Don't know if she's going to get through past Goscombe. Goscombe, oh, she's fumbled that, but she held... Oh, no, maybe oh, not. Lock again. It's a little bit of panic stations here. Otto now looking for the option, but she turns it over. Gaiden feeds through. She's found McConnon, but now she's up in the midfield position. Not stopping her going through, though. But, uh, just loses the ball momentarily. Yeah, just she's running really hard as Bologna looks for a 1-2. Oh, the brown through ball was on there. Yeah, almost came off. Um, you can see that, that energy and just that passion to run forward, and it's really you like to see in the game people who want to run forward from McConnon, but we just needed to get her head up just a little bit and look for, the, look for just that little bit of interplay. Jeez, geez, it would be something if Lenorki got something out of this game. Yeah, well, first game, I mean, even even a point, I think, on the road for the first game in the WSL, they would be absolutely stoked with that if they can, they can hold out here. Obviously, United will be pushing for that not to happen. Yep, 2022 champions coming third last year, so expectations high on the system to come back up the table. Richie again, goal scorer, and she'll get that put out of play by Jess Shreve as Ashby's gone down a little bit sore here. Jeez, we've had a lot of stoppages. Yes, another, that doesn't look too good. It looks like a bit of cramp, actually, so that's good. Well, not good, but... <laughs> You always fear the worst in these situations. I think cramp in right, uh, first game of the season, it's one of those things that does happen. You can sort of see she's seized up in that right leg. Actually, she's she's definitely had her hands full with Adelaide Otto. And I think um, we will need to get a bit of a chop out here. She is limping. I think she's going to be coming off. I think injury has succumbed. It may not be a cramp. It looks like it could even oh, be. Okay, hopefully, uh, hopefully nothing worse than that. But yeah, given that she's not putting weight on it, that's um, yeah, always a reaction to to kind of stretch that one out. But yeah, potentially a bit of cramp in it and something else as well. So really hopes that she is okay here, Saskia Ashby. What do you want to see in the Debut. Jess Shreve helping her up there. Like she's got the attention of the medical staff, and uh, we'll make another substitution. So third sub, Ebony Pitt coming on. Play resuming now. The long throw. Long throw from Dickinson. It almost finds Otto. Straight Otto. under pressure is Pitt, and it chips in. It's an excellent little chip of the, the ball from Adelaide Otto. And 2-1 to Lonnie United. That is, I mean, the game's opened up, and that will be a really big goal to see if Knights can come back from this one now. How did Otto work her way out of that situation, Alex? She was hugging on that line, somehow whips out the ball, and it went over the head of Havaya. She's been a live wire since coming on. I think um, that early sub has really livened up the Lonnie United attack and she'll be putting a name in the hat to um, start at least the next game if she keeps going like this. Absolutely. What a game-changing performance coming off the bench. It will be an interesting thing to see if Knights can't come back from this now. A few little hiccups with injury and... Subs coming on, but here is Millie really Barrage and McConnell also running onto it. Killing for a corner? Yeah, so straight away a corner. So that's one thing that Knights have, I think, on the scouting report is if they do go down there, bang, they're straight back onto it and they, they're trying to get back in the game. But Adelaide Otto, I think, putting her name in the hat for the player of the game so far with that effort. And just generally, in such an energetic presence around the ground. It will be Barrage to take. Normally a good delivery on this left foot. Has the options to go short to Bronte Gaiden. Gaiden just slowly making her way towards Barrick. 
We see Smith in the area, so they'll put it in long. It's a good delivery. It's loops. Oh, nearly an Olympico Ooh. there, yeah. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think just the, the angle of the pitch there, I was thinking, oh, that's almost looped into the back of the net. But, uh, yeah, love to see an Olympico. Um, but not to be there for Knights. A little bit of a, a waste in the end there with some good pressure, but they'll try and go again here with United playing out. And it will come back up the line to Lucy Smith. Now hugging down the flanks, just looking for the option. Otto, back on the ball again, but now back in midfield. Gee, she's everywhere today, Alex. Yeah, she's just, I think, growing in confidence. Yeah, and that's a good little turn again from McConnon. Launch it forward, but Jemima Brown not in the vicinity. Just not quite on the last defender there. It's the right idea, but maybe just not the... The long ball that she was looking for. No striker was in the box. Jemima was just a little far away. Yeah, it's been an impressive performance from Conan, but just lacking that little bit of, let's say, composure just to, to either get that little one-two pass that she's looking for or play that ball in. But again, been a very strong presence for Knights down that right-hand flank. That's well worked there by Sharif. Smith on the counter-press, though, and nice little foot in again. And... Looking for Brown up front. Bounce back into midfield. Here's Lawsa. Running forward and looking for Olivia Smith. Nearly worked her way through there, but that's well cleared away. One of those clearances that almost put them under more pressure, but they get away with it. Barrett's trying to hold it up. She will do so. Does she have any options, though? Well, she had the through ball on Gaiden, but Alexa go down to the wing. Now McConnon. Conan's looking up, trying to find an option. Will she go herself? Oh, she's blocked off the ball immediately. Yeah, just taken away there by on the United defence again. It's normally such a solid outfit and really only conceded today from an absolute weldy from Millie Barrage. So we hoping to continue that for the remaining 20 minutes and see if they can't pick up these three points against the really good energy around this night's side. I have to say that they've they've put in the effort and it's it's Definitely a good sign as they look to build into their season. It's been a very spirited performance, only in their first game into the top tier. Looking very strong already. Another injury here. Again, these early early injuries are just... Again, there's Millie Barrage now limping off. I think that's down to their last sub is Walking Knights. Again, hopefully some of these injury reports are just minor ones and, again, just like getting those sort of legs underneath them. So. Sophie Munnings coming on for Lonky Knights. It's losing Barrick so soon into the second half after an absolute scream. It's definitely going to hurt Knorky. But yeah. they do have their options off the bench. It's a half chance for Chug. Be away by Richie. Doesn't come off her last, so Dickinson will come in for the throw. Again, as good as a corner for Lonnie United. You love the throws. <laughs> I, do. I think Otto's also figured out where to stand on them now. It's gone wide. See, it's gone to Adelaide Otto. Just well marshaled by Shreve there at the defence. The Knight's just piling back in a, almost five people around the ball. Um, so you just see how how much it changes the game. I know it's a little bit, I'd say a little bit old-fashioned in, in a way, using the long throw as such a threat, but... Uh, it's effective, you have to say. If it works, it works. It's Bologna, who's tried hard all game. Will come out to Munnings, and she'll to release McConnell, who's still running so hard. And I think you said earlier in the game, Tanner, definitely been right on that one. She'll just keep running, and <laughs> she's gone in hard there. Absolutely. It's the work rate of Ella. Anytime she loses the ball, she will still push and push and just try to grab it back. Doesn't matter if she falls over, she's always there. So it's a credit to Ella and her hard work. And that's an offside for McConnell there. Just the, the defensive line just stepping up as the ball was turned over. Yep, commentator's curse right there, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always talking people up and then it's, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, blame us for that one. There's the Clark to get us back underway. Captain Nicola Clark looking for the options. Goes short. Back to Clark. Sends it into the top of the box. Sorry, the midfield. Now Otto. 
Otto with the control has a look around. Let's go short. Pushing through up now. Dickinson with a sort of half shot, half cross there. Good overlap from Laura Dickinson. Definitely got a. She's also one that will keep running all game. Used to play a little bit with her brother who had a massive taint as well. I think it's, runs in the family for sure. Nice now, just trying to weave their way out of traffic. Brown, sub, she'll move it. Runnings, and again looking for the run of McConnon. It's on the ball this time and has a shot. And oh, just slides past. It had then beaten all ends up. Just wide. Just wide. But the Knights on this counter-attack, they are a dangerous, dangerous side. Commentator's curse was almost uh, changed <laughs> up there. <laughs> yeah. He almost undid the work there. That's <laughs> good work there from us. Uh, but we <laughs> but a very good run from Ella McConnon again. And you can just see that, that counter-attack for Knights. They're going to cause a lot of issues for sides this season. As uh, United, again, just playing out, looking to get that... A position of control in their front third. We'll get cut out and back out for a United throw. So we're to the final 20 minutes of the game. Still 2-1 to Lonnie United. And uh, okay, fairly impressive display. I think Nick Rawlinson would be reasonably happy so far. I mean, there haven't been too many periods of dominance for Knights, but they've definitely had their opportunities, and here might be another one. Conan sends in the ball, but nothing doing in the yeah. box. Yeah, just with Barrich going out now, it's a little bit of a structural change for for Knights, and they're, they're just going a lot more with a lot more bodies kind of through that midfield area. Dickinson's had a fair bit of space out here, which you'll find Richie. He'll go back out for a Laura Dickinson throw. Dickinson just having a look around. Breathing in the big ones. Sends it up the flank. Oh, that looks well cleared away there by the Norky. <laughs> Even if it was off the shoulder. It's using your body there, Alex. Yeah, I think they've... Since the goal, it sort of seems like... Well, since the sub, really. Um, Norky just have a little bit of a better handle on this left-hand side. They've done well to keep that one quiet, as well as another good cutout from Ebony Pitt, who's come onto that left-back position. Gaiden waved her way through traffic there. Wanted the one-two, and she does get it. Now three to McConnon. McConnon pushing forward. Can she get around? It's a shot on target, but it's well saved. Another good clear-cut opportunity there for Ella McConnon. That run in behind is causing some issues, but well saved by Jaslyn Venn. And Long United will keep it at 2-1. But Knights have had some really good opportunities in the last five or six minutes just to knock this one up. Long United will come straight back at them, though. And fall to the feet of Chug. will be away by Pitt. Declaric gets it back into the forward play. Dickinson again. She'll swing it in. It's a bit of a half shot, half cross, and straight in the arms of Avea in the Knights' goal. Avea sends it long, looking for any option that she can find. Then it comes off on Sesson. Really worked there to their favour. Declaric now pushing up. Works her way around. A little turn there from Richie. Almost found her way in, but again, marshalled off. And, um, Shreve and Goscombe in the middle there have been pretty solid all day there for Glenorchy Knights. They've done, they've done a really good job of, of cutting out any of those opportunities to get in behind. Absolutely. Two former Lions there. There's Otto. Played it into Chug. Won't be able to get past Inez Gaiden. She'll play it back to Goskin. Come out. Only as far as the Launceston attack. And blocked by Shreve and then straight back out over to Olivia Smith. She'll get blocked off by Munnings. Gaiden again. 
Conan. Gaiden partnership working well in the midfield for Knights, and that's a really good ball through by Bronte Gaiden, really purveyor of the through ball. But uh, just evades Jemima Brown, which is running hard to get back in. But Knights, again, if they can get Gaiden on the ball to play some of these through balls, the likes of Conan and Brown. It's around Bologna. Dickinson just out of position, but Brown not alert to the danger, and Lawson will play ball into Adelaide Otto. Looks like they've stayed on side, but runs out of room, and will go out for a goal kick, much to the reprieve of Glenorchy Knights' defence here. And we'll get one more sub. We're out of subs for Glenorchy Knights. I'm assuming this will be on the Lonnie United side. It's fantastic vision to find Otto down the flank once again. Like that was just from midfield, Alex. Yeah, L Lossa has um, got a lot of energy about her, but it's just a very smart player. Controls the tempo in the midfield. You probably hear me say that a lot um, today, but uh, I, I definitely have a, uh, <laughs> a soft spot for, for midfielders who just can play long, short balls. Good energy. A la Santiago Munez. That way I see more of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Playing in the midfield. Absolutely, it's uh stay with her keep keep on top of the game. It's uh Pitt who's been good since she's come on. Take the throw. And we'll just go out of place, slicing off a boot of the Monkey Knights winger. And Dickinson will just get our collective breath here. Potentially up amongst the votes for me, I would say so far today, Laura Dickinson. She's had a lot of action in this second half, been very solid. I would say probably Otto and Richie is the goal scorers, definitely the front runners, and you see Richie pressuring again there. Be ricocheted off her foot though. Get back underway with a Knights throw. The option goes short. Gaiden leads it back down to the defensive line. Shreve sends it long, looking for Conan, but it's not on the right wing for that one. Probably should have been back on the left. But you can't blame the experimental from uh, Ivica uh, Bologna. Yeah, I think uh, Shreve just looking for this right sort of ball, but a little bit too much curve on that one as Otto gets back on the ball, looking for this one on one with Pitt. Gets swung in. Inez Gaiden will be down trying to get on the ball. That is fantastic control there by Gnorky. Worked yeah. away out of the danger there. I have to say, Bologna has been really solid. Probably she's had a lot of work to do as well when she has got on those balls. Just playing those really simple little balls. And I think, yeah, once well, the Inez and Bronte Gaiden and I think Bologna, if they can get a, a bit of a partnership going, that will be a real area of strength for Knights as they go forward in the season. It would go forward from Pitt. Brown. Here's Bologna. And no commentator's curse there, but it does get cut out. Richie, she'll move it forward. Otto just running out of room. Definitely looking down this right hand side, all half united. The fresh legs of Pitt. Is very important there as Bologna gets sacked from behind. And Ava Farquhar was the, was the sub who's come on there. Always Brown. She gets pushed off the ball by Dickinson. Hill for the foul, but somehow it's now play on, now coming back. It will move forward and it will just get pushed back up into United midfield. Through ball option on, didn't quite get a hold of what she was after. Now back into Gaiden. Gaiden weaved away through traffic again, but just didn't have that final option. Otto sends in the ball, looking for Richie running on to it, and keeper will get it away. It's a decent ball out wide for Pitt. She, she's in a bit of trouble though. Got almost a two-on-one situation. Gets out of it really well. Absolutely, that turn inside out. Yeah, and there's Gaiden. She'll get it to Bologna and then get it to Bronte Gaiden. And that's the combination Knights will want to be hitting. And there's McConnon releasing now. She's in behind. Does she have an angle to shoot? And she, she puts it away. Ella McConnon knots it up for Glenorchy Knights. 
They've made it to all here in the 78th minute. An excellent counter-attack for the Gnorky Knights. And she's been working hard all day for that, Ella McConnon. Definitely a deserved goal for her. Wonderful strike there by Ella McConnon. Commentator's curse was just completely out done there. <laughs> Fantastic goal. Yeah, and you can just see Knights on this counter-attack. When it works, it works. That was a fantastic quick piece of passing through the Gaidens and into McConnon and into the back of the net for 2 all. And if you're a Knights fan, you'd have to be super chuffed with this effort for their first game in the WSL. A team that hasn't had a, like a heap of success in the championship, I'd say, over the last few years, really dominated by Eagles and, and University. But... With some good young players, some good recruits, they have definitely one to watch for the WSL this season. Absolutely. The combo play there from Bronte Gaten and Ella McConnor, that's going to be the key for the Norky season this year. It's a, yeah, just a really important goal, and I think that will be some good energy for Knights. And now you have to think for United, how do they come back from this? They've had all the play. They've had, you can see the stats on the corners there. Um, they've had easily the more shots, but... Um, not that many on target, not that many clear-cut shots. And I think um, if you're on, well, one of the players or the coaching staff, you might be doing this one, if, especially if Knights can get a goal here. McConnell will play it in, and it will get floated back up. It will go back into the region of McConnell And get lumped away is Lucy Smith for Lorsa. Nice bit of quick hits from Madeline Lorsa. United now pushing through. Need yep. to find a response after losing the lead. Yeah, they'll be trying to get numbers forward, and Richie, who's been leading the line in this second half, it's pushed off it by Shreve. And that's not handled by Olivia, Olivia Smith there. And 10 minutes to go here at Birch Avenue, and I think uh, this will be a... I would say a bit of a boil over if Knights can get a point out of this one. Oh, 100% knocking off the 2022 champions in their first league game. Yeah, and you can just see they've got got a good base going here, and you'll see if Knights just can't get a winner here. But we'll see United on the ball. There's Smith, blocked off by Bologna. Conan, bit of time there. Interesting that you mentioned the stats before, that Gnorky haven't had too many, but they have taken their chances. We, but you see Launceston, they have had the shots off target, so they have had the chance to get a bit further ahead. Yeah, I would say that, yeah, we've, we've had, I mean, Barrett's goal was sort of something out of nothing, but McConnell's had some really good opportunities, and that second one was just a lovely little running behind. She's again. Um, they've, had, they've had good opportunities when they've had it. It's been it's been hard because there's been so many United players up the field and they've been having to do wind sprints back like here. McConnell swooping it into the box and Brown is not in the area. Ven will sweep that one up. Throws the ball along. This is Bologna. And he will go up to Otto. Getting into kind of empty tank territory here for a lot of the players. Again, it's early season games where the weather is good. It makes it a little bit harder. He's still getting fitness out of there. There's Dickinson. She'll move it up. It'll be Ava Farquhar. A interesting ball for Richie. He'll fall for her. Does she have support? She misses Farquhar. Sleeves rolled up and Bologna needs a man on call. She gets it. He's Bronte Gaiden. Good feet from her. And she'll just try and release... Brown. Gaiden. Gaiden, yeah, hurried off the ball there. Couldn't weave away for the traffic on that one, but now it's looking dangerous. Otto. It's pacing forward. Almost got shrugged off the ball, but she's using the body to her advantage, and she passes it away well. Cross into the box now. Could be dangerous, and it's in. It's found the back corner. Olivia Smith just poaches instinct there. Found the high ball of Lucy Smith, and we go 3 2 to Launceston United. The second half has been a bit of a goal fest, and you say, Will there be a response from Launceston United? And there is. That is uh, a very handy goal with only seven minutes to go here. So. We've had two responses from Glorky Knights. Will we get another one, or will United? I think they've got to just put 
everything into shutting the door here. They've been a little bit open, I would say, on the break. But uh, Knights will look to counter quickly as they have all game. Absolutely. Could be time to park the bus here, Alex. Yeah, seven minutes to go in uh, regulation. Probably get a little bit of injury time too, given the few subs have had and, and a few players going off uh, injured. But Knights will have to dig deep here, and it's it's been a testing game for them. Uh, but I th think spirit-wise, they haven't dropped heads at all, as here's Bronte Gaiden. And we'll get taken away, and we lumped up the line. You mentioned Spirit's performance. It has been a spirited performance. New side coming into the league for the first time. I think they've done very well in their first opening hit out. Yeah, absolutely. But that experience of United, you just see there, they've been able to get it done in the big moments so far. When they've been challenged, they've, they've always had an answer. Even if it's been a bit of a scramble, they've been able to scramble goals. So a well-deserved lead as well here at Birch Avenue. Is Olivia Smith the goal scorer? We'll go over to Lucy Smith. Another little one two between the Smiths. She'll try and cut in, and it's a good footing by Inez Gaiden. Get away through Farquhar. Now sends through the through ball. This could be dangerous for Gnorki. Brown running through. Good little ball. A nice idea reverse ball. Even McConnon. Looked for the cutback, but yeah. McConnon's legs <laughs> just gave out a bit there. Yeah, I think um, the Launceston United left back is just right on McConnon's tail at the moment, really locking locking her down as much as they can, the Lonnie United defence. Just under five minutes to go. It's still anyone's game here. Definitely. Another goal from United will kill this game off for sure, but if still half a chance for Knights. Richie tries to nod it forward. Goscombe worked her way out of traffic there, but Otto has fantastic footwork. She's been very good with her dribbling today, and here she goes again. It's a low ball in the vicinity of Oof. the keeper, and she does hold it. Looks like she <laughs> almost tried to have Olivia it Smith with a bit between her teeth. Yeah, she's kicking the ball. I think it did spill a little bit there, but kind of kicked straight back into Havea. He's just done enough and maybe a little bit tender after that one. It's a hard one because you don't blame the, the attacker trying to get on the end of that one, but she's done enough in the end. No, not at all. You've got to go for the goal, Alex. She'll get it back underway. United now. I think this will be a bit of a test for Knights as they, they don't want to get too open even though they're going to try and push for an equaliser. Bologna making a overlapping run. And it'll come back in to De Klerk. Brown will take it off her though. And he will just avoid Bronte Gaiden. Gaiden. So right, right ball. She was in space. Gaiden now pushing forward up. Obviously giving every option possible to just see if they can get this equaliser. Got to put the experienced players up there, Alex. Yes, they're, um, they are need pressure here, I think. Um, it's one of those things. It is hard this late in the game, but just while you you still got to sniff, you've got to get up there. As that's what Bologna does, but it does get cleared out. Here's Inez Gaiden, nicely taken down. We'll weave around from Bologna, we'll find McConnon with a nice open turn. She'll turn back the other way, try again, but all harried off it by Clark. It's excellent defending there from the United captain. Otto now sends through, but not the option she was after. Really, Pitt has been solid back there and left back for nights since she's come on. She has done great off the bench. Otto still causing a lot of problems, but did cut that one out. Here's Bologna. It's a through ball. Brown's on the end of it, is she? No. Venn smartly off her line. De Klerk, just that sort of composed way that she has about her. She'll get it out of play. Brown a little bit upset with herself there. She did pretty well to get in the area and... Just outpaced a little bit by Venn, who is a is a keeper who does like to get out off her line. There's a notable face in the crowd there, Alex, MPL Knights coach James Sherman, pulling yeah. out his hand, giving a bit of instruction. Yeah, well, I think that I think that'll be a really interesting element for Knights this season. Not really having a, a top level women's team and to kind of get the whole club behind them as that ball comes in. Should be McConnon. It's saved by Venn. 
It's a bit of a crash bash in the box and then diving on it safely for one of United and one of United fans will be very, very pleased to see that fall to the hands of the keeper. She played into Farquhar, but Knight's still pressing here. That was a last gasp save. Fantastic work there by the long session keeper. Again with that, you can see in the background there the name after this one with uh, the men's sides of the respective teams playing after this one. We'll be heading over to Valley Road for second match of the round. As Brown shapes the shoot, it almost finds its way to Conan. It's sort of half shot, half cross in the end. And Jaslyn Venn sitting on it again. Knights are still looking dangerous, still pushing for this equaliser. That's smart by Venn just to get it out of there and try and put the pressure back on Knights. Farquhar will put it into midfield. Goscombe now feeds through to the middle. They're looking for McConnon. Conan, don't know if she's going to get a hold of this one. Pressuring Clark well there, but Clark slides in. Weaves past one defender, tries another, but just couldn't get a hold of the footwork. Laura Dickinson that. coming over from right back with a storming tackle just to hold on to that one. And now Knights have to press her. She's just going to be happy to sit on this one. It's a bit of a lax ball. Bologna almost makes it there. It did slow down the play there, though. Just trying to find an option that Knights tried to capitalise, but just couldn't. But throwing now for Lonsetton. Yeah, Dickinson just taking time out of the game here. I'll just look to get their breath and she'll launch it forward. Just a powerful throw slot sailing up the wing and then Olivia Smith, one of the goal scorers, able to win a throw for on United. These are the sorts of plays that go a long way to winning a game. They might be a little bit... Uh, for the viewer, maybe not the, the most entertaining sort of action, just getting it out for a throw, but by God, it can be effective. Shreve goes over the head of Shreve. Richie's running onto it. He'll get poked out by Shreve. This is playing the hands of Lonnie United beautifully here. Certainly has, Alex. Launceston can still get the 4-2, and that'll be all she wrote. Yes, absolutely. I think they'll be wanting to do that to show that they, they can stamp their authority on this game but again it's been a really good second half and an interesting first half too but goals are plenty in this second half and two teams that have really put everything into the game loops over the head of the Lonnie United attack McConnon she's now pushed back but she's weaving the way through traffic but I think she tried to pass it to herself to get around but <laughs> yeah she's chased it down the Lonnie United defence there just Happy to camp deep at the moment. They're going quickly though, Knights. Looking for McConnon and it rebounds off her and that will be a very handy throw in for Lonnie United. And it ends up being the end of the game. I almost didn't hear the whistle. It's a 3-2 win to Lonnie United. It's been a fantastic game here from Birch Avenue. They'll be very pleased to get out of that one with three points. And the Knights, they'll walk away with nothing down the Midlands Highway, but they'll be, I think, very encouraged by that. Oh, 100%. I think Gnorky put in a great shift today. Balric coming back, getting the equaliser. Then you have McConnon doing the same thing. But Launceston, they did show their class in the end and just grinded it out. So good three points for them to get the season rolling. Yeah, definitely had the dominant display today. With the, You can see the shot differential there, but in terms of on target, it was fairly similar. And, Knights with um, some really good counter-attacking plays. And Tanner, who do you think would uh, be your player of the match for today? I would still go with Barrick, to be fair, because that, that was an absolute blinder. But yeah. I think Otto does, does quite grasp it because she was fantastic down the wing, yeah. especially in that second half. I have to agree with that. Adelaide Otto was a, a game-changer for Lonnie United. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon for WSL. Be back in a few moments for the NPL game this afternoon from Valley Road. Um, my name's Alex Murray for Tanner Code. We'll see you next time.